Hey guys, this is Vladimir with JST Electronics. Welcome to another video. Last week, Cloudflare finally announced that their service for hosting static websites for free, called Cloudflare Pages, is finally out of beta. Which is yet another reason to switch from GitHub Pages to Cloudflare Pages and host their blog sites in there. I already talked about the many benefits you gain with the transition in my previous video, which you can find somewhere up here. And today I'll show you how to precisely do the migration step by step. I already switched my blog site to Cloudflare Pages when it was still in beta a couple of weeks ago, but today I'll show you how I convert yet another website, which is a blog site of a friend of mine, Jano. So let's get started. Before I show you how to do the migration, let's take a look at the Cloudflare account. So we have a hunch what's available to you for free. Also, we'll take a look at the existing solution based on GitHub pages, so you will have a better idea what needs to be done in order to transition from GitHub pages to Cloudflare pages or perhaps yet another provider. As you can see, I'm logged in now into my Cloudflare account, which has access to three sub accounts. And for demonstration purposes only, let's take a look at my personal account, which is this one. Cloudflare gives you several useful tools at your disposal. The main benefit of using Cloudflare is using their CDN network or content delivery network, which can cache all your static uh, resources like uh, images, JavaScript, HTML files and host it to your customers uh, so they have better experience. And if you imagine your blog site is really all just static files, everything can be pulled into their CDN network for really fast experience. Also, uh, because you use Cloudflare, you are also protected by their proxy service. And in case you have some DDoS attack, uh, you are protected. All traffic goes through Cloudflare services first. And they have some useful tools to help you mitigate this, uh, this scenario. Uh, last but not least, you can also add uh, your domains in, in there, as you can see, and manage your DNS records and other settings in Cloudflare. And just last year, they also added the possibility to also switch registration to your domain in there. So when we click on the registrar, you can see there are all my domains registered and are now managed by Cloudflare, including uh, extending the validity of the domain. And um, it's just a nifty place how to have all your tools for your blog site in one place. And uh, just recently, like I said, uh, they launched Cloudflare Pages, which is available in here and which allows you to host all your static files. So everything is automated, everything is available from the single place and you have also analytics and other tools, everything for free. So just for demonstration, let's take a look how the domain settings look like. As you can see, I have some analytics in here, which can be really useful. It's just another tool besides Google Analytics. So I have uh, how many visitors I have on my website. DNS is the main tab I use to configure all my DNS uh, entries for my domain. And uh, for example, we have a configuration for the for the mail service, also some TXT records or, or these C names records are for using uh, main site and to directing traffic into, in this case, Cloudflare pages, um, which is this special domain. Also, the SSL tab is very special, which configures security settings for your domain. And the Cloudflare dashboard offers uh, really useful tools for configuring that. For example, you can configure various uh, security settings like HTTPS settings, uh, transport security setting, or minimum TLS version supported on your website. Everything is through Cloudflare because uh, you use their proxy. Really, you should go through their dashboard. Uh, there are many useful features for free. Also, what I use uh, are page rules, which are in here, uh, all free plans have three page rules per site and usually you need like one or two rules which is more than enough for your needs. 
Also another useful feature in here is caching. This tells Cloudflare how to cache your data from your website. So in case you update the content on your website and it's not reflected on the cached content, you can always clean the cache. Like here, you can purge everything. Or you can purge just a single website like, like this one. Now when you have a hunch what Cloudflare is and uh, how I use it, Let's take a look at the existing GitHub Pages site. Uh, as many other sites is available always on GitHub as a public repository, which is not a problem for a personal blog site. And uh, all those sites have a main branch, which is a project files for let's say Gatsby.js or other static site generator. And there is another special branch called GH Pages which are just the static files generated from the generator. This is all automated. I used uh, GitHub Actions for that and let's take a look how it's done. So every repository has something like uh, GitHub workflow subdirectory and this is all configuration you need. So for example, when there is a commit on into the main branch, We'll run a virtual server, which will check out the code, uh, use Node.js version 12, something, and then it will cache dependencies, install dependencies, and uh, build your website, which is this command, and deploy, which will push the generated files into the, uh, into the GH branch subdirectory. And that's it. The main drawback of this approach is that your GitHub repository will uh, grow significantly. We are talking about the hundreds of megabytes of data. And uh, because GitHub has limits exposed to their repositories, you can someday uh, really reach to this limit. Better approach is to have generated files somewhere in the cloud and uh, on GitHub you would host only the main branch, which is what I use at this moment. GitHub Pages is usually managed via settings from your repository, including generating of HTTP certificates. And after you do that, you can also use custom domains and then you will just configure DNS records on your uh, registration service. So uh, in this specific case, I registered all domains on uh, Namecheap. And uh, as you can see, there are two domains. One just redirects to, to the other one. And this is the main domain, so we'll start with this one. Let's take a look how it looks like. Um, this domain is active, as, as you can see. Uh, we are still using Namecheap DNS. It's not yet migrated into Cloudflare. That's the first step we'll be doing. And uh, when we take a look at the DNS records, there are just two records, which means uh, uh, the main domain name, which is uh, janhalacek.com, Will, uh, will be redirected to GitHub pages. And also the www subdomain is also redirected to GitHub pages. And that's it. It's very simple uh, to configure. And our first step is to migrate this DNS uh, management into Cloudflare. So let's start with that. We'll need to add a site. Um, site name is the domain name we just bought. So. In this case, I'll just copy janhalacek.com. And now Cloudflare will pull all information from the DNS. We'll use the free plan. And uh, now let's wait a couple of seconds. And as you can see, all records are in there. This IP address, for instance, is the GitHub server. CNAME record is redirected to GitHub uh, subdomain. Some MX records, uh, which are defaulted by Namecheap probably, we can uh, delete those. So we'll just do that. Delete. OK, we can keep this one, CNAME. That's OK. And also we can use CNAME for those main records because Cloudflare supports something like flattened CNAME which will resolve into IP address when, when needed for the main record. So something like uh, something like this alias record which is not supported. 
first we need to delete the A records to do that and now let's let's add this C name record okay as you can see C name flattening is applied and now we have a mirrored configuration next step is to configure your old registrar to use new DNS services name servers and use custom DNS and now you can supply the DNS server names from Cloudflare after we continue you will be prompted with what needs to be done so uh, those are the original name servers used for the domain and those are the new ones we need to set up let's do that that's the first one and that's the second one and now let's save the changes uh, it may take a couple of minutes but it will be updated in a short while so there is a check button to check if the change is already applied as you can see it may take 24 hours but usually it's uh, much less also we can set up another useful features here like HTTPS rewrites that's okay also HTTPS forced for all contents no HTTP oh yeah we can also minify JavaScript optimize CSS files and HTML okay that's also fine and summary everything is turned on finish so after all those changes are propagated i'll get back to you and we are back as you can see cloudflare is now protecting our site we can still check if uh, the domain is resolved so let's just type uh, domain name and you, as you can see the block site is still up and running and now another thing i'll do before i'll start migration to cloudflare pages is customize this c name to redirect into www that's the same as on my own website so first let's uh, delete the c name record and uh, we'll create another one which is uh, a record we'll use add sign for root and uh, you can type here any non-public ip address it doesn't really matter the most important thing is uh, it's proxied so before you hit that IP address uh, Cloudflare servers will capture that uh, request and will process page rules and those rules have much higher priority than this IP address set in the records so let's set up the rules let's click in here and create page rule okay so now all requests from janhalczyk.com will be redirected to HTTPS which is really important www.janhalczyk.com that's the only page rule you really need for the site and this should be updated in a very short while because we are already using Cloudflare DNS so let's check if if it works and as you can see we were redirected into www perfect and now we are finally ready to start migration to Cloudflare pages so guys when I check the footage it turned out the sound from the recordings was really bad i don't know what exactly happened sadly it's not usable for this video so let's pretend now the cloudflare pages is still not set and i'll show you how how to do it and then i'll show you the existing project which is already up and running uh, i'm sure you can figure out most of the things and if not just write me in the description below and i'll try to answer as you can see we are now in the cloudflare dashboard now so let's click on this side and now after everything is set you just need to click on these pages here as i mentioned the site is already up and running but just pretend it's not yet there so let's create a project where you select your github account anyway you can give cloudflare access only to some repositories and that's really nifty feature because cloudflare only needs access to your blog page and nothing else and as you can see it's already listed in here I can't select it anymore because it's already in use but let's go back to the site settings to show you how it's configured so this is the project we have and we can click in here and in here you can see all the recent builds uh, so far we have one from an hour ago 
and um, let's go into settings you can rename the project also invite other members but what's interesting is build and deployments in here you specify the branch name from which you build the static site as i mentioned previously we are building from the main site from uh, and we are using gatsby which will generate files into the public subdirectory and this subdirectory will be pulled into cloudflare cdn it's beyond our control but we really don't care as long as the site is up and running also we can modify the configuration use different framework uh, whatever or specify our custom command or different repository with generated files i don't plan to change it so we'll leave it as it is this custom domain tab is very special because that is the place where you can set the main domain to direct into cloudflare pages as you can see it's already enabled but uh, there is nothing special in there you just type the name of the domain you plan to use and as long as this domain is already managed by cloudflare dns already you can just type the domain name and cloudflare will just suggest improvements in your dns records i won't do that but we can take a look at the change records right now so let's go into account home now let's click on the domain name dns and uh, that was the only record which was changed so www points to our special web page on cloudflare pages we can open the page like like this but also it's redirected through the main domain and that's everything we needed see it's running and also let's check on the main domain it's also running so that's it for the moment i hope that this guide was useful to you and i believe that if you manage to transition from github pages to cloudflare pages you will have no problems uh, transferring to some other provider in the future so basically just the change of the dns records and the deployment on the new service usually it's very well integrated in with github and when you read the documentation i think you can figure things out so if you like the content like this uh, be sure to subscribe for more content to my channel i plan to do other videos to topics like arduino development continuous integration writing unit tests for embedded stuff uh, and so on so happy to see you there and if you have some suggestions for topics you are interested in please also let me know in the comments below uh, thank you and see you in the next video bye bye